I'm just gonna go for this. You wanna cover? Well, on hookah. Cocktail close. Friendly last operator standing. Four last operator standing. What's hookah? Oh, oh, oh my god. Hey. Dude, I switched to that pistol and I thought I was losing was, that. Was it just me or should Smoke have died? Smoke should have died. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Timzy here, and today we're going to be starting a new series on the channel. We're going to go over how to play Nomad on specific maps, and today we're going to be starting out on Coastline. So, hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy the series. If this is the first one you guys are watching, I'll be uploading these pretty much every other day for the next couple weeks, so hopefully you guys can check those out. I'll leave a playlist link down in the description below um, for you guys to check out all of the other maps that we're doing. And more importantly, I will be daily uploading on the channel starting November 1st on Sunday, which is tomorrow. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that, and I will also be streaming live on Twitch. So if you guys are watching any of these videos a couple hours after they are live, then don't forget to go and check out these streams, because I will be streaming shortly after these videos go up. Anyways, let's get into the video. So I want to talk about loadout real quick. So both of these guns, the ARX and the AK, are very, very good. Um, it's all personal preference on what you want to use. I know a lot more people like the ARX over the AK. I personally have been liking the AK recently just because I like the amount of ammo that it comes with. And I'm not restricted on taking gunfights, especially later into the round when it gets kind of stressful. But anyways, we're going to be moving on the coastline here. This is going to be the first one for the series. And I'm just going to go over each objective and like what I do based off what sort of attack we're planning on doing. So, let's get started. So starting on Hookah and Billiards, there is a couple ways that you can attack it, one of them being a downstairs take, where you take Sunrise, Blue Bar, Office, and you deny all the Nitrous from underneath, and then you probably plant inside of um, Aqua, or like push Aqua to plant inside of Billiards. So, the first air jab that I'm going to do is going to be inside of Security Hallway. So you're just going to set it above the door. Anybody coming from security into um, trying to go into office will be hit by that air jab. Um, the second one that I like to do sometimes is going to be on this blue bar door. This one can be switched with the hookah door, the outside hookah door, um, for that run out. It really depends on what you want to do, but I like putting it on the blue bar door so that any defenders that come down cool vibes, if they try to go for a nitro, for example, on the planter, they're going to get hit by this air jab. And it's just a huge audio cue for everybody on the attacking side. So, now that we have the bottom control that we need in order to get the plant down inside of Billiards, we're going to go ahead and repel up to Aqua Balk. And from Aqua Balk, you can actually just shoot open this luggage window. Um, you can either shoot the whole thing open, or you can just shoot a couple pieces of wood off. But I would typically put an air jab at the top of the luggage door that leads to top white. And that's pretty much your flank cover for the most part. So once that is set, you're pretty much set up on these air jabs. You should be able to get ready for a plant pretty soon behind the bomb chassis or, you know, somewhere inside of pool. But other than that, we're going to move on to the other attack that you can do for this objective. So another take for the hookah billiards objective is going to be a VIP take where you bring a hard breach, typically a Habana, and you open up this VIP wall to get some pressure on the person playing it behind pink bar. So if you're going to be taking VIP control, typically what I would do is I'd place an air jab on the top of the VIP door just in case the defenders do try to retake VIP, you'll have an air jab there. Um, other than that air jab, the other one that's like a necessity is going to be on top white stairs. So anybody that is trying to flank from bottom white up to top white, you will have an air jab here. So typically I'd put it in one of these little uh, square, square showcases. So when they do come up, they'll get hit by it. Um, there's a couple different places that you can put it. You can put it either there. Um, sometimes I know people like to put it right here on the suitcase, just on the side of it. Um, so whenever they hit like the top, they get knocked off by that one. Um, it really depends. The white stairs is hard to air jab uh, effectively 100% of the time. So you definitely want to try a couple different things um, to see what works. But definitely try the suitcase one. Um, try one of these showcases and then... If that doesn't work, then I would definitely recommend trying to find a different spot, because these stairs are very difficult to air jab effectively. But other than those two main air jabs, the third one's not really a necessity. It's more of, you know, maybe you want to place it somewhere to cut off um, a certain part of the map. Another one that I like to do, which is kind of hard for the defenders to shoot, is going to be right here. And it covers a large chunk of the hallway, so if they do pass, they'll get hit by this one. Um, other than that, 
it really is up to you. Another good one is going to be behind this flower pot. So if they go into VIP, they'll get hit by this one. And if they go past VIP door to VIP hall to push 90, they'll get hit by this one. Um, but that's all up to you guys. Let's move on to the next site. All right, so we're going to move on to the kitchen and service objective. So typically, there's two ways to take it. You can do a horizontal push or you can do a vertical push. So let's talk about the horizontal push. Typically, with a horizontal push, what I like to do is I like to take um, Office Blue Bar Sunrise Control. And it's similar to your hookah billiard site. You can actually um, air jab security hall from here. But you're going to air jab security hall, just like the hookah and billiards um, defense. And then other than this one, in um, security hallway. Sometimes this aqua hatch does get opened by a defender. So something I like to do is actually place an air jab right underneath the shelf. So they actually can't um, shoot it or see it from above. But whenever they actually drop the hatch, they'll get hit by this. But other than that, um, the biggest one that you want to also air jab is going to be the cool vibes flank. So there's a couple ways that you can actually take this. So if you get that security hallway air jab first and you make your way into sunrise somehow, typically I would say go outside and then come in sunrise. Um, if you can get your way up to cool vibes, you can air jab right here. And anybody that gets um, pushed, tries to push down cool vibes will get hit by this air jab. The other way that you can take this will be going outside and opening hookah door, joining out hookah, making sure it's clear, and then setting up an air jab right here. Um, so I'll place it right there for this case. So if they do push from 90 hall to flank base, they'll get hit by this air jab. Um, and then something I also like to do whenever I'm playing Nomad on this map, if I can get full map control, if I can take Billiards, Aqua, and Luggage on top of setting up that air jab for the Hookah flank, I would actually, or the, sorry, the Cool Vibes flank, I would actually come into Luggage and I'll set up a top white Luggage um, air jab. And then I actually have these holes. A lot of the time, defenders open up this wall to um, have late like denial. But typically, uh, with this wall open, you can see into kitchen. Sometimes people play near kitchen windows, so you might be able to get a kill or two. But more importantly, um, it's for perfect for a post plan. If your teammates can get a plant in kitchen window, then you can cover it from here. So you pretty much watch your flank full time. And then you, of course, have this for the plant denial. All right, so for kitchen, the vertical take is going to be a like VIP penthouse push. So you're going to go VIP balcony, maybe repel um, big window, or open up the, the bathroom hatch. But you're going to want to get VIP and penthouse uh, theater control so that you can start making holes above and make pressure. So typically what I would do here is you want to try to get full top control. So you want to drone um, pool table, aqua, luggage, because you want to pretty much air jab the staircases. So the first air jab is going to be on the cool vibe stairs and it can be in one of two spots. You can actually have it um, right on the top of the staircase or you can place it on the side of the actual like full top of the cool vibe stairs, which is a good one to always place. And then our other one's going to go on the top white stairs. Like I said, it's kind of difficult to air jab top white. So you want to um, try different things to see what works for you. But I'm going to place it on the suitcase here. So whenever they come up, they get hit by this air jab. And then other than that, there's not really any place that's like a necessity. Like I was saying before. But um, a good one to have is going to be a front door air jab. And the reason... Be for this is because if you do a full like top vertical clear, a lot of the time you're probably going to plant inside of uh, service. So a lot of the time you're going to be outside of service trying to take out utility, maybe take a gunfight or two before you run in to get the plant. So having that front door air jab will be good because if they try to run out front door and kill anybody sitting outside of service, they'll get hit by that air jab and you guys will have that sound cue um, and hopefully get the kill off of that. But that's going to be your vertical clear. So we're going to move on to the blue bar and sunrise objective. So there's two ways to attack this site. Um, one of them is going to be a office push to get a blue bar plant. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to air jab security hall like every other um, strat pretty much or every other objective. And then other than that, you're probably going to want to go upstairs and apply some pressure up top, if, especially if the attacker or sorry, the defenders are playing up here. Um, so you're probably going to want to get an air jab inside of luggage. So that means one air jab in the luggage store, just like that. And then other than that, um, possibly if you do get full top control, you're going to want to go and air jab cool vibes. And with this one, I would highly recommend air jabbing the bottom part as opposed to the top part, because if your teammates are going to be up here like a sledge or a buck, they're going to be up in hookah, up in pool table, um, trying to clear vertically then you're going to want this air jab at the bottom because if you have it at the top they're going to be able to sit here and shoot 
any of your teammates that are walking in and out of uh, Fuka the pool table. So you're going to place it at the bottom side of the stairs. And then other than that, you should be able to go for your office push. You also want to be careful of lobby, of course, because the blue bar wall is going to be opened at feet level um, to deny anybody trying to push in to get a plant down. But if you open up this wall with the hard breach or if it is soft and you just sledge it, you can actually plant backwards right here and you won't be seen from lobby. But we'll move on to the sunrise push. All right, so moving on to a sunrise push. This one's going to be a little bit different than the office to blue bar push, but you're still going to want to get top control. And one thing I want to um, kind of fix from the last clip is you're probably going to want to air jab top white instead of luggage door because um, if somebody is in lobby and they flink up luggage or top white stairs and they go towards 90, there's not going to be any air jab that will hit them. Uh, maybe even having like a, a flank cam inside of 90 just to watch that if anybody is dead on your team. But we're going to go ahead and get full top control. That means showing literally everything on the top floor and entering it. You're going to place your first air jab top white. Your second one's going to go inside of cool vibes or on cool vibes. Um, just like so. And again, it will be at the bottom set of the stairs instead of the top so that it hits them a little bit earlier so that they can't um, peek aggressively on cool vibes. And then your other air jab, typically once you get full top control, you're going to have your soft destruction um, start making holes above, trying to clear the site, behind bar, behind couches. And then you're going to be um, probably near the planter. You're going to be outside of Sunrise Mudroom or Sunrise Box. And you can air jab kind of whatever you want in sight. If you can burn the ADS, you can air jab the blue bar rotate, you can air jab that Sunrise double door, um, or you can use it outside if you want to... Um, put it for office, maybe if somebody's outside of office and they're trying to run out and kill anybody that's peeking blue bar window, sunrise window, um, or just sitting out here. And a good one that I like to place is actually near this, this plant pot here or the half wall, um, because if they run out, if they rip open this door, they're gonna run out and swing right here. So when they swing this, they're gonna get air jab, they're gonna get knocked even further back, and this should be a free kill for anybody that's, you know, in hookah can run out real quick and shoot him. Um, or outside of like mudroom, they can shoot him as well. This is always a good air jab to put, um, especially if a team is playing super, super aggressive and they're just trying to run out office a lot. Um, even if it's not this objective, if it's another objective, they're just playing super aggro, that's always a good air jab to put. And that's one of my favorites on this map. But other than that, that's going to be your primary air jabs for this objective. And then with that, you should pretty much be able to go for a plant here, um, especially if you clear the bar and clear it behind the couches. All right, moving on to penthouse. For those of you that still play or still deal with having to attack the uh, penthouse objective, penthouse in theater, um, typically the only main way to push this objective is to take VIP control, um, open up bathroom hatch, repel big window, push guitar, um, possibly open up this wall to try to get a plant behind the bed. Um, so typically what you're going to want to do is take VIP control. Once you do that, you're going to want to air jab the VIP door so that anybody trying to flank 90 to VIP will get hit by this air jab. Other than this air jab, um, the ones that I would say are kind of a necessity would be outside the front door and service door. Uh, because like I said, big window is a big part of this attack. So you're going to want to air jab this service door run out and then also the front door run out like that. Just so that the person playing big window has two of his main doors or main run outs um, air jabbed. So he could just repel here and play all the angles he used to play to hold the cross for the person planting the bomb behind the bed. Anyways guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video and more importantly, hit that subscribe button for future content. We have daily uploads going on on the channel as of right now, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.